it's multi attach and how it's different from elastic file system when to use which one you will see this and much more in this video stay tuned and make sure you watch till the end hello everyone in one of the earlier videos we have seen ebs multi attach in practice and attached a single volume to multiple ec2 instances simultaneously if you missed that tutorial i will put link in the description today we will dive deep into characteristics of ebs multi attach volume and verify it ourselves how this ebs feature is different from elastic file system that is efs which also allows shared storage let's get started what is ebs multi attach i created a volume and want to attach the same volume to ec2 instance so that attachment is done so this ebs volume is attached to one ec2 instance and simultaneously i want to attach it to the other instance as well so i created another ec2 instance and attach it there third one i created and attached same volume to the ec2 instance everything has to be in same availability zone so what is amazon elastic block store multi attach so you can attach single provisioned iops ssd volume to multiple instances note here i said provisioned iops ssd volume so you can only attach io1 and io2 as a multi attach you cannot use hdd offering for the multi attach purpose each instance has full read write permission to volume so each instance can do read as well as write to the same volume so your application has to manage concurrent write operations ebs does not help you with that when you are doing multi attach make sure your application is well aware about this architecture and it manages its concurrent writes and you can attach only 16 linux instances built on nitro systems in same az so nitro system is specially built which is faster and you can refer aws documents to see what are nitro systems and what instance types are available for us but there is a specific requirement to have nitro system based uh, ec2 instances and you can attach only 16 standard file system such as xfs and ext4 are not suitable so you should have clustered file system and your application has to manage concurrent write operations multi attach enable volumes can't be created as boot volumes aggregate performance of all the attached instances can't exceed the volumes maximum provision performance this is a, again a key consideration when you are deciding on multi attach for example you have two ec2 instances accessing same ebs volume and maximum iops out of that ebs volume is say 50000 iops right and your one ec2 instance can allow you up to say 40000 iops and other ec2 instance depending on its instance type it can allow you to go to up to 40000 iops so total you can go to 80000 right 40 and 40 from first ec2 and 40 from second ec2 but your ebs volume allows only 50k iops or 50000 iops so you cannot scale your application beyond this 50000 iops even though your ec2 instance can go beyond uh, 50000 but you, your ebs volume does not allow it so aggregate performance of all the attached instances can't exceed the volume's maximum provision performance so you should remember this when you are deciding whether you want to go ahead with ebs multi attach so when usually we'll use ebs multi attach so this is when you can have clustered file system to increase application high availability if you are aware about oracle cluster file system i think that should be a good use case for ebs multi attach so can run your databases uh, or you can even run your applications from ebs multi attach and increase the availability for your application in the same az let's look at what is efs and how it is different from ebs multi attach but what is efs is it is scalable fully managed elastic file system for linux based applications and workloads which can be used with aws cloud services and on premises services so here is the key like you can have efs 
being accessed from your AWS cloud services as well as on-prem services. So this is a key difference between EBS multi-attach and EFS and this is strictly Linux based. In case of EBS, you can have application running on Windows. AWS does not recommend you to use EBS multi-attach for Windows based applications. There are two storage classes in EFS. One is infrequent access and one is standard access. Infrequent access is something introduced uh, recently. EFS does not require storage provisioning and it is pay, pay as you use. UBS you will just specify that I need one terabyte, two terabyte, whatever size you want. But in case of EFS, it's not needed. Storage provisioning is not needed. File access is possible across multiple availability zones and region. This is again very important differentiation that you can have your instances running in multiple availability zone or even different regions. So it provides low latency with IOPS and throughput that scale with usage and the number of attached instances. So whatever uh, we talked about EBS, like you are bottlenecked when you reached your maximum performance of that particular EBS. But in case of uh, EFS, it can provide you low latency with IOPS and throughput that scale with usage and the number of attached instances. This again a key differentiation factor when you are looking into deciding whether you want to go to EBS, multi-attach or EFS as a solution. So when EFS is good fit, so when you really need shared storage for your uh, say media files or asynchronous logs, this is a good fit. It is not good for running your databases or running your actual application code from the EFS. You can use this as a shared storage, but not good for running your applications as such. Hope these differences made sense to you and to some extent would help you decide the right AWS shared storage solution. Key differences to recap, EBS, servers in single AZ, up to 16 Linux Nitro system servers, limited provisioned IOPS. EFS, servers in multi AZ or regions, even can be on on-prem. Thousands of servers can access same EFS stores. IOPS and throughput scale with your usage and number of attached instances. I am sure you learned something new. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe and share this learning with your friends. Thanks. Hope you learned something new. If so, please do me a favor. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Stay connected and keep learning. Thanks again guys for connecting with me today. See you with Eight another new topic on AWS. Thanks. Bye for now.